que tenga que cambiar mi propia sábana en un hotel. Ay, no. Ah. I need kisses. Excuse me, sir. I need my kisses. This is a hotel. My room. Kachik. Kisses. Oh, your keys. Yes, sorry. <laughs> my English, sorry. Kisses, keys. They, they were born. Do you need anything else? Uh, yes. You have cock. Huh? I want cock. Oh! A Coke. I see. Coke. Yes. We're on course. Uh, is everything else okay? Uh, I lose my day. I don't have beaches. I look oh. everywhere. I only see mountains. Mountains. Beautiful mountains, but uh, no beaches. Oh, beaches. Yeah, they're far away. Ah, well, I, I go now. Good night, sir. I need to uh, put shit in my bed. Yeah. Welcome back. Let's start with beach because that one's ridiculous. So if you ask your teacher, how do I pronounce this word differently to this word? They'll probably say, well, beach has a long E sound and bitch has a short I sound. Beach, bitch, easy. Oh, beach. Wait, that still sounds like this word. How do we fix this? You need to grab a pen, a straw, chopstick, anything that shape. First thing is your tongue position. This is your tongue for this example. So grab that pen, that straw, that chopstick, and put it between your teeth. Please don't choke. Are you still alive? Okay, good, let's continue. To make the I sound, your tongue shouldn't touch this. It's just chilling on the bottom of your mouth. I, I. But for the E sound, with that tension in the tongue, now, you should see the tongue come up, producing a different sound. E, E, E. See, that pen moved up because my tongue was pushing it, because it was tense. So compare those two sounds. Remember, I, tongue is dead, flat, doesn't do anything. E, the tongue becomes tense, rigid. It moves up in the mouth, it changes position. I, I. E, E. It's always the tongue that creates problems. So the main problem is how you finish this word. And I'll show you exactly what the problem is. Say beach, but pay attention to where your tongue is at the ch sound at the end. Really, try it. Okay, where's your tongue? If your tongue finishes that ch sound, by hitting up here at the front roof of your mouth. Beach. See, see my tongue is hitting up there. Beach. Even if you get that long E sound, it doesn't matter. If you finish with your tongue there, it always sounds like this word. So how do you fix that? It's actually really easy. Instead of stopping the airflow and stopping the sound with your tongue, stop it with your throat like a glottal stop. Beach, beach. See, my throat is stopping the airway, stopping that sound. By stopping the sound in the throat, you can make both words. But like I said before, if that stops the airflow, stops the sound, it will always sound like bitch. So that's the difference. If you don't believe me, I'll show you. Perfect E sound, but I'll finish with my tongue here. Beach, beach. See, that's what you've been doing. Beach. I'm not calling you, never mind. So the short answer, dead tongue finishes the sound with your tongue, bitch. 
long E sound, tense tongue, finishes the sound with a glottal stop, beach, beach. Say it with me, beach. Beach, bitch. Are you noticing your tongue is doing a different thing now? If it is, great, you're amazing, let's move on. This is an awkward one, but very easy to fix, don't worry. So, cock, that is a vulgar slang term for penis. Coke is just that delicious drink. So how do you make those sounds? Easy. With this, we need an o oh sound. Look at my mouth. Oh, nothing changes, right? My lips don't move. Cock, cock. But with coke, my lips will move. Oh, oh, coke. Practice with me, say it loud for your whole house to hear. Cock, cock. Your lips shouldn't move. For this one, your lips should move. Oh, Coke, Coke, please buy me a Coke. Next is Keys and Kiss. That was based on a true story. One of my old students told me that she asked her manager at work to give her kisses. Obviously her manager looked shocked, but we all know, of course, she was asking for her keys. Well, first, keys are already plural. You don't need keyses. And second, the pronunciation is easy. It's the same as bitch and beach, kiss, keys. Short sound, long sound. Tension in the tongue, ease, keys. Dead tongue, kiss. Another two words you wanna be careful of is lick and leak. Leak means this or this and lick means this. So you definitely don't want to say this one if you mean this one. And again, it's that short dead tongue sound, long tense tongue sound. Lick, leak. See the difference? And yes, of course, this is the same for sheet and shit. And in the movie, The Terminal, the main character has problems with the word cheat. Eat shit. What? Eat shit. Eat shit? Eat shit. So this is more a problem with the ch and sh sounds. Okay, with the ch sound. Remember earlier, I talked about the tongue hitting here for the ch sound? Well, we're gonna do the same again, but at the beginning of the word. So try it with me. Ch, ch, ch. You should feel the air stopped and then p, p coming out of your mouth really fast. In linguistics terms, that's called a plosive. You don't need to remember that. But with sh, however, that's different. The air can move freely, in and out if you want. Let me show you. Shh, shh. It looks weird, but that's the only way to demonstrate. So try it with me. Shh, shh. So it's a plosive ch for cheat and a free-flowing air for sh sheet. Okay, pronunciation challenge time. Try to pronounce these sentences, and then I'll show you the correct way after. Let's go. I love a cold Coke on my face. I woke up and my ex was cheating on me. Before I go home, I always give my boss my keys. There are too many beaches in my city. You're amazing, well done. Which words do you find difficult to pronounce? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye.